Okay, well, when I uploaded my video uh, the other day on Atheism Plus, I promised a video on feminism and, and, and why I'm not a feminist, or at least why I don't label myself a feminist. That's not this video. This is going to be another video, just updating a couple of bits uh, about this Atheism Plus, making a few bits clear. Some of this stems from some interactions that I had. I have it up here on Christina uh, Greta Christina's blog over at Free Thought Blogs and a post she made Atheism Plus and some thoughts about divisiveness. Just let me put that back where I need it to be there. I got involved in an exchange on there. I have to say it wasn't an entirely pleasant experience. There were about 200, 250 posts on there. I can't really expect you to read them all. But if you do read them all, you'll probably find quite a lot of things enlightening. Something else you might find enlightening as well is that they have an Atheism Plus forum up and running. If you go over there, what I would ask you to do is to not troll the forum or try and goad or aggravate anybody. They want that to be their little safe space, their little safe haven, where they don't have to deal with people that have opposing viewpoints. I, I'm quite happy with that, as I'll mention later on in this video. So I really don't want in any way, shape or form to encourage people to go over there, to register, to start posting, to, to drum up any kind of shit. Allow them their space I ask please. Um, but what I would say, go over there and just get a feel for the place. Get a feel for some of the things that they're having problems with. One of the links in fact that went to that place was on, um, I think it was linked to by Jen McCrate and somebody was complaining that on the title page it mentions GLBT, gay, lesbian, bisexual and trans. Usually I've heard it written LGBT, but this person was complaining that, that they don't like LG, uh, GLBT because it places men before women, bisexual people which they are, have a really hard time after women, and then trans people who have the hardest time of all, last of all. So that's maintaining stereotypes. Somebody pointed out, that, well it's usually LGBT anyway, to which they responded, well, that deals with the sexism issue, but it still doesn't de deal with the trans issue because the T's at the end. I think eventually they realise that however you rearrange the letters, they're going to be in some specific order. And so then they started having a conversation about what other acronym can we use so that we don't have to worry about what fucking order we put the letters in. That's the kind of depth to which these conversations can um, can sink to you may find a little bit of that on the Atheism Plus forum and, and the reason I mentioned the Atheism Plus forum although this is like I'm, I'm taking one aside out, out, out of another here aren't they the reason I mentioned it is because it will give you an indication of, of where perhaps some of these people lie the, the term is Atheism Plus so you think Atheism Plus but it isn't really it's kind of Atheism Plus, the, the atheism really doesn't matter. It's the other shit that they're really bothered about. And that's probably part of the animosity because people suspect that, that these people, many of them, not all of them, but many of them really, they are atheists, but, but the atheism isn't the important part. Maybe they ought to be called social justice plus and the plus includes atheism or something along those lines maybe that would be a suggestion or, or um, uh, social progressives plus or something along those lines who knows but I'd also ask you to read to go back to this Greta Christina to read through if you could read all 250 odd things you would find it enlightening I got involved in an exchange on that I have to say it was a frustrating uh, experience, so frustrating, and, and this may give you, uh, this may cause you some amusement. It certainly causes me some amusement at looking back on it. But at one point, quite early on, I had to actually leave my computer, walk downstairs, and just stand in the kitchen. And I actually considered headbutting. I actually considered. I thought maybe I'd feel better if I just 
gave the wall, I mean, not, not so that I'm knocking myself out, but if I just gave the wall a quick headbutt because I wanted to release my frustrations without saying anything that could have been construed as patronizing or aggressive. And it's very difficult not to be patronizing or aggressive when people write things as ridiculous as, as, as this in response. I'm quite happy not to be associ associated with atheists who are twits. This is in response to me. In my opinion, atheism is indeed just a lack of belief in theistic nonsense. However, to live in this world and to survive as a species, we need to have the basic values that atheism plus advocate. So there you go, the whole survival of the species is dependent upon atheism plus. Uh, there was another post, the one that nearly made me headbutt the wall after I'd already clarified to somebody that I'm happy with anybody uh, 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 labelling themselves as atheists. You could be the, 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 the most right-wing fascist bully boot boy or you could be an ultra totalitarian communist who wants to suppress any free thought whatsoever I, I, from one end of the spectrum through to the other I don't mind and this poster's response her response and I assume it was her because her name was Blitz Gal was so you're quite happy with racists to identify as atheists uh, but but when feminists identify as atheists you're not happy. How how do you get that from what I just said? I don't, just don't. That was the level of the, com, the of the conversation. Not from all the posters, but from some of them. Some people like, there was a different standard of response. Greta herself was one of them. But that 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 was what almost dr dr drove me to to self harm there in the kitchen. So 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 that's what happened there. Um, but the reason I bring this up, and I need to get back to this particular post, was that I had an exchange with Greta. And this is where I'm a little bit uncertain what this Atheism Plus is about, because I got the impression that it was about a third wave of atheism. If you read the posts from the likes of, of Jen McCrett, she calls about it the third wave of atheism, and it's exciting to know several of them said this just how far we can take this just how how far we can run with this idea you know and that maybe it could become a new meme and a whole new uh, you know and, and and some commenters have talked about redefining atheism itself and um, Rebecca Watson talked about you know the the Dawkins and all these lot and on her post on Skeptic they've had their time they've done their bit but now it's time for us to take the gauntlet and press on Further, that gives that gave me a certain impression of what this was about. So I just bear that in mind because there will be another aside first, and um, so just bear that in mind. Let me read you some of what Greta Christina had to say. This is what she said. She said, "On the one hand, we have a situation where feminist women in the atheist movement have been subjected for a solid year to a relentless campaign of harassment, bullying, inappropriate sexualization, threats of death, threats of rape, violence of privacy, sorry, violation of privacy, and more to the point where many leaders have become exhausted and demoralized, and many women don't even want to try taking part in it. On the other hand, the group that has formed in large part to combat this situation and to create a safe haven from it as a name that you think will be confusing and create an incorrect impression of atheism. And the latter problem, she's talking to me, is the one you are spending your time and energy on. So I think I need to clarify a few things. Let's go back to the to the first thing there about the problem, about the, the things that have been said, about the abuse that's been suffered. I wasn't aware of a lot of this, as I said to Greta, I, I really only learnt about all these free thought blogs and I'd never heard of Rebecca Watson or any of these people up until a couple of months ago. But I want to make one thing absolutely and resoundingly clear right here and now. The people, the trolls or the, the sexists, or the misogynists, and they would be misogynists if they meant it, I suspect perhaps most of them don't, they're just very irate. Um, and, and, and perhaps misguided individuals in the comments that they're leaving. The people that are leaving these comments about fuck off and die, I hope you get raped, 
all this kind of, I'm going to find you, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how many comments there have been along that li those lines, but that is completely out of order. As somebody who has received the odd threat whilst being on YouTube, both to my property and to my person, I've never paid it very much attention. I've just assumed it's some nutty twat or some troll who's never going to actually act on it. But if I receive dozens of such threats, dozens of tiny probabilities add up to a reasonable probability. And so if people are getting dozens of such threats, I can understand why you would start to get worried that maybe just one of these people is nutty enough and genuine enough that they may carry it out. On those grounds alone, I can understand why some of these people may have been genuinely worried. And nobody, nobody it doesn't matter what you are arguing in these discussions, ought to be put in that position. And in that respect, the people who have made these kind of posts are cunts as far as I'm concerned, although I know I'm not supposed to use that word. Right, that's what they are. They're total bastards. I disown myself from... Look, if you're making that kind of argument, please stop doing it. That's not the way to carry on. And for people that want to make a sensible argument and argue on the facts, it just... And argue in many ways, perhaps on your side, it just makes things harder. You're playing into the hands of the people that you're trying to rail against. So for every reason it really isn't a very nice thing or a very good thing to do. I don't think I can make myself any clearer than that on that one now. Okay, so maybe we can draw a line under that one from my perspective. So let's move on to the second one. The group that has formed in large part to combat this situation and create a safe haven um, this, this is the thing that I'm having a go. This is the thing that I'm railing against. And Greta Christina says, how weird is that? Let me make another thing absolutely clear. Go back to the beginning of the video. I suggested people who watch this video perhaps check out this safe haven. But don't goad. Don't get involved. Just have a look at what it's about. I have no objection whatsoever with people having a safe haven. Greta maybe needs a safe haven because she gets some really obnoxious messages. Some of the people who read her blog don't get those messages, but you can see if you read through her blog, there's some fragile flowers around who really can't take the kind of robust debate that sometimes we have on YouTube and, and, and don't really want to be faced with people whose viewpoints are in, in some cases is diametrically opposed to their own. They don't want that. They'd rather have a self-affirmatory environment. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with a safe haven. But where the fuck is this idea coming from that all atheism plus is about is a safe haven? Where, where is Greta getting this from? Oh, all we're really talking about is our own little website and our own little forum so we can discuss these things without anybody else chirping in our ear that they disagree. I thought this was a third wave of atheism. I thought they wanted to see how far that this could go, that this was going to replace the Dennets and the Dawkins and the Hitchens and, and, and the Sam Harrises of this world. So which is it to be? If it's just, I can tell you right now, I don't like the name Atheism Plus, or as I look at it, Atheism Plus, right? But if that's just going to be the name of a safe haven website and forum, and you're not going to promote that name and try it ram down people's throats and confuse people out there with what Atheism is and what Atheism Plus is, then I have no problem with it. Have your safe haven. But what is it? Let's have less of this double speak. I'm not opposing a safe haven. What I'm opposing is the hijacking of a term for people that are politically motivated and who might fly the banner of atheism, but it's far, far down their list of priorities. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. My food's in the oven. I think it's probably going to be burnt. Bye for now.